Hi YouTubers, welcome back to my channel and in this week episode we will be discussing about real estate investment and why it is one of the best options especially for OFW to put our money into. Is it really true that most of the people who got rich actually got rich because of real estate properties? We will see why a lot of investors opted to go with real estate investment. I mean, we'll not go far. We have many Villar who was before just selling goods at the market. Now he is one of the billionaire, top rich people in the Philippines because he worked into real estate properties. Before we move on, I just want to put a disclaimer again on my video that whatever things I'm discussing on my YouTube channel is only based on my own experience and my own research and my own study and this is not a financial advice. So all of us are responsible in our own actions. Before investing on this something, we have to do our own due diligence. So Philippine real estate industry has been booming since 2008 and it's actually a good sign. And we may think that it is a bubble, but no, it is not a bubble. The demand is really there. Today we will discuss the top reasons why we should opt to go for a real estate investment. First reason is that the supply is scarce. The available land does not multiply but the population has been increasing through time. So the demand keeps on coming, especially when a lot of OFWs working abroad are being capable to buy their own properties. That is why real investment is very popular, especially for OFWs. The value of the property always appreciates. So going back to the point one, we have a supply and demand logic. So the more demand you have and you have the less supply the price increases so that is why it's a good investment it's a tangible asset i'm not sure about you but about me i really wanted to see my property in my own eyes i get motivated and i get more inspired to work harder when i see the fruitage of my hard work in front of my eyes and that is the difference between having your money into a mutual fund or or in the time deposit because you cannot really see it but in case of real estate you can go into your house and see it into your eyes so yes you feel very motivated to have them you can have it also as your own home so instead of renting you can you can utilize the property by using it or utilizing it for your own use you don't have to deal with the landlords who gives you a lot of rules you cannot change the color of your of your wall you have to put your sofa here and there you have to do this turn off the lights and all those things you don't have to deal with them because you have your own home and you can make your own decision about your home so that is something that no money is worth for one more reason why it is a good investment because it's a good passive income machine I mean, other than your property value appreciates over time, you can still get additional income by actually renting it out to others, like families or do a transient house, Airbnb, bed spacing, and this is a very, very stable income, especially if you're very good in maintaining your house by your own. It also helps you build a good relationship with bank. So if let's say you found a good business opportunity and you need money for that but you already invested it into a real estate property the good thing is if you already fully paid your mortgage you can use the title of your property as a collateral to the bank and bank will most likely approve your loan as long as it matches your income let's say not just on the work but also in the rental properties there there is a bigger chance that your loan will be taken out so imagine if you can still use that money to invest in other business venture so it will really help you a lot so there you have it 
So we have discussed the reasons why real estate is one of the best investment options for OFWs like us. Now, if you have money and you want to spend it, let's say you made a decision to put it on the real estate investment, you just have to be very careful in buying properties. And in next week video, we will discuss what are those things that we have to be very careful and what things we have to look into when buying a property. So guys, if you have any comments or any suggestions about that topic, kindly comment below. So let's share our ideas together so we can help each other. If you haven't subscribed on my channel, please press the subscribe button below and also click the notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. And also if it's not much, can you please like this video so I get inspired in creating new contents every week? So thank you so much and see you again guys next week.